Well, uh, thank you, John, and good evening, everyone. My fear is that the government will seek to bypass statute law by passing an order of council, not an order in council, but an order of council to suspend the act until after the 31st of October. And it is important to note that an order of council can be passed by privy councillors, that is, government ministers, without involving Her Majesty the Queen. I should warn the Prime Minister that if this route is taken, if this route is taken, it will be a flagrant defiance of Parliament and utterly disrespectful to the Supreme Court. It would be a piece of political chicanery that no one should ever forgive or forget. Even at this late stage, if some deal is cobbled together with the European Union, it is likely to be both flimsy and partial. But as day succeeds day, it seems more likely, not certain, but more probable, that we will end up leaving the European Union without any deal at all. Last night, the Prime Minister willfully destroyed any hope of cross-party agreement in the House of Commons. But if the government is to get a deal, if the House of Commons is to approve it, if the scars of Brexit are to be diminished, then there must be compromise in the negotiations. And not only compromise, but understanding. Understanding from both sets of negotiators. The government seems intent on whipping up dissent by using emotional and evocative language that can only provoke fear and anger and fuel grievances against Parliament and the law. Consider what this means. It means this government wishes to win re-election by inciting opposition to the most important bulwarks of our state and its freedoms. Their approach is profoundly unconservative, and whatever its short-term effect, will do permanent damage to the reputation of the party I have served for the whole of my life. I cannot believe that any previous government in all our long history would have even considered such reckless and divisive behaviour. Thank you very much.